the dear Lord, the mark of iniquity, for who could stand? For with you is found forgiveness, O God of Israel. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. May your grace, O Lord, we pray at all times, go before us and follow after, and make us always determined to carry out good works. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, it is written that Abraham had two sons, one by the slave woman and the other by a freeborn woman. The son of the slave woman was born naturally, the son of the freeborn through a promise. Now this is an allegory. These women represent two covenants. One was made from Mount Sinai, bearing children for slavery. This is Hagar. But to Jerusalem above is freeborn, and she is our mother, for it is written, Rejoice, you barren one who bore no children. Break forth and shout, you who were not in labor. For more numerous are the children of the deserted one than of her who has a husband. Therefore, brothers and sisters, we are children not of the slave woman, but of the freeborn woman. For freedom, Christ set us free, so stand firm and do not submit again to the yoke of slavery. The word of the Lord. Our responsorial song. Blessed be the name of the Lord forever. Blessed be the name of the Lord forever. Praise you, servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord, both now and forever. Blessed be the name of the Lord forever. From the rising to the setting of the sun is the name of the Lord to be praised. High above all nations is the Lord. Above the heavens is his glory. Blessed be the name of the Lord forever. Who is like the Lord our God, who looks upon the heavens and the earth below? He raises up the lowly from the dust. From the dunghill he lifts up the poor. Blessed be the name of the Lord forever. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. If today you hear his voice, harden not your heart. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Good evening, Lord. While still more people gathered in the crowd, Jesus said to them, This generation is an evil generation. It seeks a sign, but no sign will be given it except the sign of Jonah. Just as Jonah became a sign to the Ninevites, so will the Son of Man be to this generation. At the judgment, the queen of the south will rise with the men of this generation, and she will condemn them. Because she came from the ends of the earth to hear the wisdom of Solomon, and there is something greater than Solomon here. At the judgment, the men of Nineveh will arise with this generation and condemn it. Because of the preaching of Jonah, they repented. And there is something greater than Jonah here. The Gospel of the Lord. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, last night, was just flipping through the YouTube, looking at different videos, and I noticed that, that there were a lot of videos out there in which people were pointing to end time signs. 
And then I, I just noticed that in correlation with that, there was a lot of cryptozoology uh, videos. Cryptozoology, uh, looking for <coughs> cryptids, uh, like a Bigfoot, the Loch Ness Monster, Ogopogo, things like that. And, and it got me thinking because I, I considered the gospel last night. And I was thinking about last night, looking at all these different things, and I thought, you know, here we are. You've got all these people out there who are talking about signs. You know, we're looking for signs. We're looking for signs. They're looking for signs for uh, animals, uh, imaginary or real. They're looking for signs for ghosts. Because, they're, gosh, there's so many different ghost programs on the television. Uh, they're looking in the church for signs of the end time. Everybody's looking for signs. And they kept talking about, oh, and all the different programs, you know, about the, especially when it came to Christianity, the signs in the sky. The, and I keep coming back to this statement. This is an evil generation. It seeks the sign, but no sign will be given it except the sign of Jonah. Jesus rose from the dead. He instituted his bride, the church. The church every day offers the Eucharist. Is that enough to move a man's heart? You would think it is. You would think so. But we look for these great signs and what, what what will a great sign do it might for a generation inspire but then we fall back to our same behaviors our same patterns and look at uh, so many people uh, start out a exercise routine a month two months three months later they don't do that they're not they're no longer in that <coughs> same process so if god were to today give us a great sign the miracle of Fatima reborn where the sun is dancing in the heavens would that be enough? I doubt it seriously I doubt it uh, because we would look at it and speculate well you know optical illusion uh, you know we, we, we would give all kinds of explanations and some would be very reasonable soundings, very scientific, with proofs and examples. If the miracle of the Eucharist, which will happen on our altar, is not enough to inspire a person to change, I don't know what will. So let us pray that the priests who offer the Eucharist will offer it in a reverent way, and let us pray that that miracle will be enough to start to slowly convert people, to change their stony hearts into fleshy hearts. May Almighty God be with you. May he bless you, the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Coming together as one family and faith, let us offer to God our prayers and our needs. We pray for our Holy Father, for Archbishop. For all priests, religious brothers, sisters, permanent deacons, and seminarians, we pray to the Lord. Lord yeah, pray. We pray for those who are sick or suffering in any way this day, and those who care for them, we pray to the Lord. Lord yeah, pray. We pray for the needs of our parishioners, for your needs, the needs of those who will watch this Mass on video. We pray to the Lord. Lord yeah, pray. Let us pray that infinite prod will be to watch over the finances of our parishes and that we always have enough for what we need. We pray to the Lord. Lord yeah, pray. Offering all our prayers to the Father, let us conclude with a prayer of praise in honor of the Blessed Trinity. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. 
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Amen. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands. For the praise and glory of his name, our good and good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, the prayers of your faithful with the sacrificial offerings, that through these acts of devotedness they may pass over to the glory of heaven, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And lift up your hearts. Lift up Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is right and just. just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy. Through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through me you made all things, and you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for your holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, O Son and the You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save, Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. And at the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, to the great sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that he should enter under my roof. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The rich suffer want and go hungry, but those who seek the Lord lack no blessing. Let us pray. We entreat your majesty most humbly, O Lord, that as you feed us with the nourishment which comes from the most holy body and blood of your Son, so you may make us sharers in his divine nature, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Prayer to St. Michael. Holy Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him when he humbly pray. And do you, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the divine power, thrust into hell, Satan, and all the evil spirits who wander through his world seeking to ruin our souls. Amen. The divine praises. Blessed be God. Blessed be his holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus, the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Holy Blessed be the very Mother of God and very most holy. Blessed be the Holy Mother of Perception. Blessed be the glorious Assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be St. Joseph, the most chaste spouse. Blessed be the heart of his angels.